What is up ladies and gents, this is LL and today we're going to be discovering my top 10 NFT tools and extensions which can improve your experience by a mile. And our first entry on the list is called Crypto Slam. This is one of these data websites which prove, you know, a lot of resourceful information about the market trends and instead of like just being focused on EVM chains, they have a lot of coverage over multiple different blockchains anywhere from Bitcoins, uh, newest uh, ordinal strands or Solana or Wax for example. So I usually look into this website when I want to have a bit of a macro feeling of the NFT space because the activity levels are always different between the chains and especially on the EVM chains when the gas are higher that is going to be having a lot more higher impact on the market on a macro scale than on some other chains. So here we can have like a lot of data in terms of the NFT sales volume. Uh, 500 top NFTs right now, the global markets. I mean, you can browse through multiple different blockchains and you can see like how much sales are going on. And that's like, you know, and a lot of these tools when we are going to be going through the list are really catered towards the EVM chains, especially Ethereum. But it needs to be understood that a lot of the technology does exist outside of Ethereum and I think going on into the future we are going to be seeing a lot of NFTs maybe existing outside of EVM for various different reasons because the onboarding on certain other technology like let's say EOCO for example can be much easier with this technology than on an EVM chain for example so if there's ever going to be this sort of a massive uh, NFT adoption happening on a certain game or something, I would even actually bet money that probably will not be actually on any EVM chain eventually uh, because of the user uh, experience is not as streamlined as it could be as it is in certain other chains like Wax for example where we just can like log in with an email. And there are a lot of like um, different chains listed here which is very like um, helpful and there's like a lot of data here unique sellers, unique buyers. That's a really also when people are launching a different NFT projects, they kind of want to know also like, okay, what is the traffic here on this chain? Where should we launch? And do you have like this valuable information here? And it just like gives you like this sort of a very good wholesome look into basically everything. And there's a lot of like basically all the most important chains supported here. So this is a very like a uh, they even have fan tokens listed here and DeFi swap rankings, which are not uh, directly linked to uh, NFTs, but uh, definitely one of these are better, um, you know, sites when it comes to NFT data. Now let's move into the list. Uh, next up, we have um, the first NFT hardware wallet, Nifty, which I did review on the channel. I'm gonna link that in the corner in case you want the whole review of this wallet. Obviously, this is not a free tool, but you can buy it and you can get 15% discount from this by using the code LightLiger. So in case you're interested in getting a you know, hardware wallet, well, for your NFTs, maybe Nifty is your best choice. I mean, Ledger has also one, but the thing is there has been too much drama with Ledger these days, so I don't really recommend that. And you also get a free shipping for every order that is over $120, so that's pretty nice. And they support Solana, Polygon, and Ethereum NFTs on this, and you can like showcase, you know, um, you can bring this along. I mean, you can obviously bring your phone along, but you can show to your friends, okay, this is what NFT I have. And, you know, it's like a pretty nice like portfolio, portfolio system and there's like a syncing app and everything. And it's pretty secure. So uh, four different blockchains being supported. And I think they're going to be adding more as time goes on. So in case you're looking for hardware wallet for your NFTs, maybe this is something you should look into. Moving on, we have NFT in it. And this is one of these you know, freemium slash paid uh, platforms out there. There are quite many of these which are like made for like doing mass biddings, researching NFTs, uh, calculating the profit uh, profitability rankings uh, and sniping. Like a lot of sniping tools are very important and there is a free version and then there's a monthly version. There is also a founders and desktop pass. So um, this is it's kind of expensive, but I think you should always utilize these free versions and there's a lot of different data here. So especially if you're like trading NFTs on Ethereum, it's important to kind of find um, on which exchange is the lowest price because you're going to be saving a lot of money by doing that if you're able to flip it here and see a 
you know, sell it on the other marketplace because there's arbitrage opportunities left to be made because there are so many different um, NFT exchanges. Like right now, we obviously have OpenSea, we have Blur, we have Luxlayer, and then we have X2Y2, and which are basically the four largest um, exchanges right now. And then there's obviously Gem and Genie, but I didn't want to feature them because they have now been integrated by Uniswap and other ones now rebranded into um, OpenSea Pro. And that's kind of the, well, the negative of their interfaces are not really that great, to be honest. And there's a lot of like very intricate data here about like specific NFTs and their sales prices and floor prices. Um, you can even look in the wallets and see what they're doing and how much like, you can even look, go through your own wallet and see like how well you have performed, how many flips you have done and etc. And there are a lot of different things like profit calculators, ranking house, and, you know, a lot of different things and tools here, which are, most of them are free. And then there are things that are basically uh, members only, but something you definitely want to look into. Then we have a very interesting one called Unsellable. And people are probably very familiar with this, where they have bought NFTs and they have actually, well, floor price is like literally zero. Nobody's buying your NFT, even if you're listing it at the very lowest price possible on these marketplaces. And once you do this, um, obviously there's like different types of tax plans in all around the world, but especially for people who are like wanting to get um, tax write-offs from your losses, um, buying NFTs extremely high and etc. This is an extremely good um, tool for you which allows you to basically sell your NFTs by connecting your wallet and you get a, well, you basically don't get any money out of them almost. Um, and this will can be now as considered as tax loss harvesting. I think there's like at least like maybe two other services like this, but the unsellable NFTs.com in my opinion is the, the best and most like clean layout and you user interface that there basically is. And you can also have a calculator here, how much like, potential savings you potentially can have by doing this. So you can calculate before actually selling anything. So that's something you want to, um, you know, use in case you have a lot of losses. I mean, I do uh, have a lot of like losses and NFTs, which have gone sink toll a lot. Um, then we have actually a extension called wallet guard. Now this is not just for NFTs, but this is also because there are certain scams which are targeting NFT users. So it's important to have certain secure tools which are gonna be making your experience a lot more better. So the wallet guard is basically an extension that tells you when there's like scam happening that somebody's like trying to buy your NFT or taking your NFT and not giving you any money. So um, it's anti-phishing. It has a lot of different aspects. It's not wallet itself. It is just like an extension which tell you like what what exactly is going on here and it works with MetaMask and it has like saved people literally millions. There's a couple of other tools like these, but I decided to basically uh, include this one here on the list because there are people who have actually been rugged and lost their NFTs and lost their whole wallets due to that because they got some weird scammy offer from a phishing site or etc. So uh, another very useful tool for NFT holders. Uh, then we have NFT storage. This is more for creators out there who might be using, um, I think it's called, I don't remember what's called the Pinata or something. These are paid services usually to store your IPFS data. And this is basically a free storage for your NFTs. And this is used by multiple of different entities in the space and this basically allows you just to store your uh, IPFS URL or known as the SID uh, into this NFT storage and basically it will be free and anybody can create an account and um, they can download the application and get started here. So very useful tool for people who are launching projects out there. Um, then we have another um, alternative to the um, NFT in it, which we kind of gone through. There's like five different entities here, but I decided to kind of like pick these out, cut out of random, which ones looks the best. And this one also has a free version. And then there are some monthly premium versions. This is a bit more cheaper actually, um, than the other one that we looked into. And there are a multitude of different, uh, you know, features here. Um, we can actually go into the 
platform here and dashboard. Let's connect our wallet and see what this has to offer. And, you know, I really recommend using these because a lot of the inherent marketplaces give you like a really low amount of uh, data. Like they don't give you, and here's by the way, wallet, uh, this uh, security tool, wallet guard and action. Um, and it's just like allows us to give us more data about what we are signing into and etc. And there is a lot of like information here about supply, holders, what is the royalty for this? minimum prices, you can filter also by different marketplaces. This actually has a couple of different ones like Pseudoswap and Reservoir, Coinbase and NFTX here listed, which were not on the other website. And obviously certain of these features are gonna be behind, um, you know, paid. And then also shows you like what mints are basically going on right now. What are the things that are actually happening as of right now? And we can go through those profiles and see like exactly uh, what's going on. So this is uh, another very useful tool, a lot of data here. And, you know, I don't want to really say that TA and these sort of like price data has that much meaning in NFTs as it does for tokens because they're very different beasts and different volumes due to the supply of the tokens has a deep impact on everything. So you don't want to read too much into that, but there are a lot of valuable data on websites like these, which can give you like a better understanding about what assets to buy and see if there's like wash trading going on and etc. cetera. So um, another one that I definitely recommend. Then we have NFT fee, and this is actually uh, one of these very, very few uh, websites which allow you to loan your NFTs. There's obviously sites which also allow, allow you to fractionalize your NFTs. Those have kind of, they were a bit hot for a while and then they, well, became a lot less interesting and people have stopped doing that. But essentially, like, we can uh, have loans based on our NFTs. So if people want, need to have some extra liquidity, uh, you can make offers um, for certain NFTs here. And, you know, sometimes by getting a loan um, can make you some extra money from your NFT and there's even like rewards going on right now. These guys don't have an airdrop yet. I mean, they don't have their own token yet. So they might be issuing an airdrop in the future. So something to to very look into. I haven't tried this myself, but I have re read around a bit around the, the features and uh, it is interesting concept and who knows, it might become more popular towards the, as, as the NFT technology goes on forward. And obviously there's gonna be um, a lot more desire for things like which are a bit more higher market cap, like you know, more established for like established projects like Board Ape, Yacht Club, and etc. And um, here, for example, you can have good data about your NFT and what basically loan you could essentially get. Moving on, we have Soul Incinerator, and this is basically a tool which allows you to um, free up storage on NFTs. So if you have NFTs which are like just spam NFTs or they're just NFTs that you don't need or there's a spam or whatever, they don't have any floor price, you have the ability to basically get Solana by burning them. I have a separate video about this where I go through these services and etc. And basically just like every time that there's an NFT on your account, it creates out this sort of a storage by using Solana and it locks that Solana up. What this just basically is, it just frees up that space and releases the Solana back to you. And there are a lot of people who have a lot of these trash NFTs on their account, and by using a service like Sol Incinator, basically can remove those contracts. This also applies, by the way, for NFT, uh, the tokens themselves. So it's very convenient in my opinion, and I really recommend using it. So um, in case, you know, you have extra NFTs, extra tokens, which are worthless. You definitely want to use this tool to get some money back from them. And lastly, we have Bueno. This is, uh, I think, relatively new coding, no code tool, basically to launch your NFT collections. And this, I believe, works on Solana, Polygon, and Ethereum. And it's very easy. I think there's a free version available here. Um, per token, you can pay two cents, basically unlimited collections, free IPFS, unlimited collaborators, premium customer support. Um, you can issue smart contracts um, and also whitelists and also like forms. And these are totally free, by the way. 
So it's a very like useful tool. Maybe I will be doing a full video where we're gonna be going through these multiple different services which allow you to generate your own NFTs. And we're gonna be going more into that. But um, this is one of these, you know, one of the things I would basically recommend here as an NFT tool, which allows you to deploy your own things. And they even have like a microverse support here, which is kind of interesting. So a lot of like proprietary things. So in case you're looking forward to launch your own token and don't know any coding, you might want to look into this service because it's going to be streamlining this for you and making it very, very easy and, you know, uh, simple. But that's pretty much what I have to say and share for you today in case you have some other NFT dApps which we should look into the channel or just want to recommend people to use so find it more easier or easier access or making things easier. Um, leave them in the comment section below and we can take a, bar, like a look at them and discuss about them. But until the next video, I will be seeing you next time. Cheers. See you soon.